Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vs Street Fighter 2 pack Michelangelo vs Chung Li from Playmates Toys. Previously on, uh, on this channel we talked about the Ryu uh, component of, of this uh, collection and just like last time I'm going to be focusing on Chung Li and, uh, and leaving aside uh, Michelangelo. One good thing about the package is that if you, you can disassemble, take it apart and you end up with the uh, kind of a diorama piece with the background of Chun-Li stages from the game. Sadly, the cardboard they used to print this on, you can see the texture through the printing and uh, the way the light hits it, it just makes it look a bit, a bit cheap. So it's not an, an ideal display piece. But it's something. Okay, let's take a look at the figure itself. My copy has a bit of an of an issue here. This hair section of the head is a different part separate from the rest of the head. And there's a bit of a gap in between both parts that I believe is not supposed to be there. Mine has a bit of an issue here with her cheek. There's some uh, there's some dark dark spots in there that I'm not sure if I will be able to remove. One thing is that she kind of looks bored. I think it's a combination of like the eyebrows, maybe her pupils are, uh, are are maybe too big for her eyes. One good thing about her, especially in relation to to Ryu, is that she has a very matte um, skin tone. It's, it's not reflective or translucent. As, it, as, as was the case with Ryu. Ryu already I repainted his face because of that, but uh, I, it, I don't need to touch up her her skin as it already looks very good and and the way I, I would have liked him to look out of out of the box. So there's some differences between between what we got and what was originally shown as a prototype last year the sideburns were not painted. They're sculpted, but not painted. And uh, although it, this is a very good uh, looking figure, I, I kind of wish we had gotten something closer to, to that prototype. Okay, so one interesting thing about, uh, about the coloring of the rest of the figure is the what normally is a gold axe, and here is painted yellow. Uh, which is which is fine. It's uh, it uh, it's a bit different from what the original art from the game um, shows us, as well as the in-game sprite and most of the media, official media regarding the video game spot. But still, it's very recognizable. Fortunately, a lot of merchandising has this coloring, in, and even uh, the animated uh, movie. The 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 blue of the of the plastic kind of comes through the paint as if they needed to apply a second layer or maybe a third layer I don't know how many layers of of yellow paint they applied but there's still uh, the blue kind of comes through a little bit so uh, the yellow at, at times looks like a you know very yellowish green like a green tint to it because of that still not bad uh, for the most part it does look like yellow. The spikes are painted uh, very very light uh, gray as opposed to silver color. This is a look at the back of the of the figure. Now comparing the figure with this art that I believe is the main inspiration. Uh, there's some differences, huh? some similarities and some differences. Uh, as we can see the, the gold color is not present on the figure. There's also some uh, very light detail uh, here on the waist section here uh, that is not pre present in the figure. The leggings are reddish, more reddish color in the art than they are in the figure. Uh, the, the face is different, like it's a different person, right? One thing to mention is that uh, the plastic use is a little, it has a little bit of a give here in the knees. It's a bit more gummy than I would like it to be. Now let's talk about articulation. The, the, the head is supposed to rotate 360 and go up and down, but mine is sort of stuck. 
left and then and then right is also kind of stuck i am gonna hit it with the hair dryer and uh, see if i can loosen it up and success i was able to free her neck joint and now her head can rotate kind of fold in the blur 360 as well as uh tilt left and right a little bit not too much and go down and up this much not much really her shoulders move out this amount and rotate 360 there's a cut at the bicep allowing it to rotate 360 360 degrees double jointed uh, elbows yes with pins and it has a very good range the wrist rotates and has a hinge as well waist she can rotate 360 as well no up crunch or anything legs she can do the splits but movement forward is, is quite limited uh, there is a cut here at the um, at the thigh double jointed knees this is the range of motion this has maybe if I play around with it one second all right pretty good range of motion in here uh, nothing at the boot uh, but uh, the ankle can go forward and back and, uh, and there's a nice rocker motion here as with Ryu before she commits the scene of not, ha of not having uh, holes at the bottom of their feet so no no bases no display bases for these guys Looks like a 90s figure, right? like a pre-post 90s figure. Extreme! Extreme Street Fighter! Extreme Fighter! Can she pull off nice poses? Can she recreate poses from the game? Well, I'm trying to recreate them here. What do you think? You be the judge. Now let's do some comparisons. Here is the Sota Chung Li from many years ago. Sota being or having made the longest running, most complete line of Street Fighter action figures uh, in a very similar scale from this one. They pretty much had the whole roster of Street Fighter 2, not the gold on, on, in her costume that is absent from the Playmates version. And, and this one has some points of articulation that this one lacks but on the other hand uh, this one is limited in other areas for example the shoulders are intended to move e outwards and inwards but it, it has a very limited range of motion and this one has that bit but on the other hand this one has uh, um, an up crunch in addition to the waist swivel and this one doesn't have a, an ab crunch. Previously reviewed bootleg of the figure arts version of Chun-Li. Smaller, note also the gold uh, accents on her costume, absent from the Playmates version. The wrist bracelets have uh, silver colored uh, spikes, but not the Playmates version. They went with the very light gray. Also, let's bring back Soda Bid. Uh, also, she has uh, silver on her bracelet spikes. I don't remember the name of the company, but this is this was from the Capcom vs. SNK line. Also note the gold accents and the silver spikes. Here's a Funko Chung Li. This time also with the yellow highlights instead of gold, but more reddish. Um, uh, leotard or, or, or leggings and uh, again silver spikes okay it's a little kashapon from Japan different costume okay whatever and another one and another one this one is still in the bag in the bag why not 
and one more from Japan. Different costume. How about uh, Super 7 Reaction? Quite small. How about uh, G.I. Joe? With a bubble head. Yeah. Rebel Tech. Also gold accents, silver spikes. And the best one I have in my collection is the Figure Art Sky Chun Li. Quite bigger. Also note the gold accents and silver spikes. Well, this is not quite silver, this, uh, this is a darker color. As Shartimus Prime would say, Chun Li Party! <laughs> Okay, so final thoughts on this figure. I really like it. It feels sturdy. It's a toy. It's a toy. You don't feel that it's gonna break or disassemble in your hands as you're, uh, you know, posing it. It has a very good uh, sculpt and uh, articulation and uh, things that I'm not a big fan of. How she looks a bit bored and lack of paint in the sideburns. In general, the, the, the face paint is not as good as it looked in the in the promotional picture and in the, in the um, prototype. I may try to rectify that, we'll see. I would have liked uh, Playmates to, to not go the two-pack route with Turtles. Um, in general, I think it's uh, these two are very good figures. Ryu definitely had to repaint his, uh, his face, but uh, both are very solid figures and uh, very happy with them. Okay, here is a repainted version of Chun-Li's face. I um, covered the, the issues with the, the cheek that I mentioned before. And as well as I painted over her eyebrows and repainted them. Lips were repainted as well. I mostly wanted to add some more uh, volume on the upper lip. I also added some white on each side of the pupils to make them look a bit smaller. I added the sideburns there, repainted them uh, following the sculpt shape. And uh, the hairpiece I actually unglued and repositioned and I still haven't glued it back so you can see now how it looks like. So the issue was that it was from the factory it was glued a little bit farther farther down here in the back of the head than it should be causing a bit of a gap here at the at the top and front um, yeah I need to glue it back and uh, I don't know, I'm happy with the result <laughs>